بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم تو لیٹ اس اسٹارٹ فرام چیپٹر ون ایبسٹریکشن ایبسٹریکشن ان جنرلی اٹ مینس دیٹ اف وی ہیو اے بگر پروگرام اے کمپلیکس پروگرام اینڈ وی آر فوکسنگ آن اونلی ون یونٹ آف اٹ سو واٹ وی ڈو دیٹ وی ٹیک آؤٹ all of the details which are irrelevant those which are relevant to the issue that we are tackling at the moment so removing everything from the problem other than the one that we are focusing on that is called abstraction now here in abstraction we have show understanding of how to model a complex system by only including essential details that is abstraction using functions and procedures here we are actually discussing top down design jo humne p2 mein kiya tha we have a bigger problem we break it down into number of sub problems and those sub problems are reevaluated if we can further break them down and every sub problem then be tackled as either a function or procedure so this is p2 so what you need to expect is that when you are appearing for p4 you have to revise p2 as well all right to find like 2 3 4 hours revise p2 uh all right so from the beginning you have to have p2 known to you all of it then we have abstract data types there are two types of uh types other than intrinsic types intrinsic types are those like string uh, boolean integer real those are intrinsic data types other than that there are user defined types or composite data types or data types which keep the uh, the data in the form of records we also call them records so records composite user defined data types or in visual basic we actually create them with the command called structure here what we going to do is abstract data type means a type that do not just have its data but related functionality is also there related program is also there how to tackle that data and logic both are there and they are grouped together um object oriented programming so abstract data type we would have so many abstract data types we will be looking into it and then classes object oriented programming and then we have declarative programming so abstract data type 
show understanding that an abstract data type is a collection of data and a set of operations on those data whatever the operations that we are carrying out over the data is also included show understanding that the data structures are not available in built in types in a particular programming language what are those data structures these are here we going to see so many data structures linked list binary tree hash table stack queues these all data structures need to be worked around so we will be creating abstract data type along with their operations as far as data part is concerned it is same type and end type we'll discuss upon so it is also possible that at the end of the day when we will be um, discussing or appearing that mock i'll explain that how one data type can also be accommodated in another data type edit team it is quite possible that we are implementing one edit into another show how it is possible for edit to be implemented from another edit describe how edits are demonstrated how they can be implemented from appropriate built in types or or, or other edits stack queues linked list dictionary 